So hey everyone, welcome back to my new video. And in this video I will show you, top 4 new features added in KineMaster. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. Yes from now we can add custom fonts in KineMaster, after waiting for years finally we get this feature. To import fonts in KineMaster, click on layer icon, and go to text. And here write any text you want. Then we go to fonts option, and click on this plus icon. Then open the font folder, where you have keep all the fonts. And select all the fonts you want to add, like this. Then we click here, to install fonts in KineMaster. After that select the font you want, for now I will select this font. Then click here, it's super easy to add fonts in KineMaster. Also from now we don't have to use any other apps for fonts. Now let's move to next feature. Form this transcode option we convert high resolution video to low resolution. Which is very helpful, because sometimes some video not preview properly due to high resolution, and also we have to face lag. To fix this issue we can use this feature. Now let's show you how this work. For that I have add this 4K video in KineMaster, and if I show you the resolution of this video. By going to information. Here you can see that resolution of this video is, 3840 by 2160 Which is very high resolution. Now to decrease this resolution, we will click on this transcode option. And here you have to select resolution you want, I have selected 1080p. Then you can also change the frame rate if you want. And click here. After transcode, if I show you the resolution of this video. Here you can see that our video resolution get decreased to 1920 by 1080, which is low resolution than before. And it's also save our time because we don't have to export the video. Now let's move to next feature which added in KineMaster. From this option now we can easily replace any video or photo in KineMaster, without changing its duration. And it's super easy to do it. Just select the video you want to replace. Then you will get to see this replace option in menu. Click on it, and select the video you want. Also we can change the start and end points of this clip. Just click on slip option, and slide the video left and right, like this, to change start and end points, without changing its duration. Now let's move to fourth feature. From this option now we can import videos from Google Drive. If you keep any videos in Google Drive, then this option is going to be very helpful for you. Go to media, and you will get this cloud storage folder. Click on it, and click on add account. Then select the account in which you keep all the videos, and give all the permissions. After that you will get this new folder, from which you can access all the videos you have uploaded on your Google Drive. Select the video you want to import. It will take some time to download, then simply edit your video according to your need. If you are watching this video till now, then don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below. Also if you are new to my channel, then don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. I will see you in my next video till then bye.